So I wanted to talk about getting the angle <clears throat> of this prop shaft up in when it's in up in the boat um, as far as when it connects to the engine um, because this right now I've got it extended out and I'll explain why that is um, here in a minute but this angle so there's a there's a natural angle of what this strut actually wants wants that shaft or yeah this prop shaft to be at from a vertical standpoint and so in, in ideally what you want is you want the shaft to be in that natural position well when this shaft is pushed all the way up so there's just a few inches sticking out you know where you, you know it's a little like close to five <clears throat> well then the weight of the shaft up here is going to pull that down and you don't want that you don't want stress on the strut bearings so remember there's a strut bearing in the back and the front so ideally you want it to be in that natural position so the question is how do you get it in that natural position well what i did is i i pulled the shaft out um so roughly half was sticking out back and half sticking out front so it'd be balanced this way and then i take my angle meter like this and then i stick it on i stick it on here and try to find what that angle is 13.8 and right now I, I have more of the shaft forward right now than than back so it's slightly off but but the angle actually was 13.9 even though it's reading 13.8 but pretend that it's 13.9 and so that's the angle um, that I want the shaft to be is 13.9 degrees and so then um, what I did, I'll, I'll explain kind of what, what you do with that angle here in just a minute. Okay, so that angle um, that I just talked about, that 13.9 degrees, now remember, that's just an angle based on the way the boat is sitting here. So that strut's a 14 point, well, actually a 15 point, 15 point four degree strut, I think, if I remember right. So the angle isn't, um, relative to the earth, it just happened, I mean, it is, but the reason it didn't measure 15.4 degrees is because the, the boat is not sitting perfectly level right now. So, so I'm using that 13.9 degrees. Well, the reason that's important is up here, um, so in the boat, when you start, when you worry about trying to line up your engine, and so notice, see how there's play in this, the shaft up and down, well, the weight of it's pulling it down, which if you, if you uh, use that angle, it's putting a little bit of stress on the strut bearings. So what you want is this um, angle to be 13.9. So when I, I've got a block here, hold on, just to kind of hold it. Um, so there you can see 13.9 degrees. So when I work on aligning my engine, um, what I'm gonna be doing is making sure that this angle of this prop shaft is at 13.9 degrees while I do a rough uh, angle of that um, coupling and uh, you know and remember I'm going to have a transom saver in there but just so you can see it's important to hold this because otherwise again that would be down and put stress on the bearings now the same is true in you know, this, you know, this little paper template here um, side to side you want it to be in the natural center position and that that's really just by feel at least and uh, when i mounted that um, strut i made sure that kind of this shaft was right right running right down the center of the keel and then you know there's play left and right a little bit but you want it just kind of naturally where it wants to be and that'll be center side to side but but getting the natural position up and down is important uh, just to avoid stress on the strut bearing so i, I wanted to ex explain that uh, why it's important uh, when you do an engine alignment um, and so what i will do then is make sure this is held up and then i will adjust because i'll push that all the way up actually metal to metal to get the engine alignment done and then what you do is you pull the pull the shaft back a little bit 
put the transom saver in and then you know secure basically make sure the engine is all tightened and bolt down, bolted down and tighten the engine mounts and everything and uh, so there's no movement and so you once you pull that out put the transom saver in and put it back in and bolt it it'll still be aligned and uh, so that that's how that works